Um, so we wanted to talk today about um, diet and aging. Mm -hmm. And you read an article that was talking specifically about um, kind of how diet leads to premature death and death in general. Right, right. I mean, originally I thought it was about uh, you know longevity and how to uh, live a long life, but it, um, this basically just talks about uh, the plant-based diet and how it can help you live longer. But the actual study, so there was a study done in um, 2017 with 188 countries that looked at, uh, the, what is the leading cause of death? 2012. You said 2012 when you read it to me originally. Oh, no, it's 2017. Oh, even so, cooler. So it is 2017. Um, and, it, and it looked at um, 79 different factors that are the cause of death and disability. Mm -hmm. uh, it was also found out by Bill Gates, which is interesting, because everybody knows that the Gates Foundation is this nonpartisan, non-biased foundation that's looking to uh, get the truth behind a lot of different things. Let me say good morning to Deborah. Good morning, good Deborah morning, and Deborah. Valerie. She shared. Yes. Great morning. Yes, thank you. We appreciate that very much. Yeah. Go continue. Okay. Uh, so basically, it breaks down to what it found out that the leading cause of death and disability in all those studies was the diet. Um, it was basically responsible for over 11.3 million deaths. How scary is that? That 11.3 million people die because they ate poorly. They ate poorly. And not because they didn't have access to good food. Right. And so we're not talking about people who died because of starvation or, or lack or any of those issues. We're talking about people who are dying of diet due to excess. Right. Like they're making bad choices. Right. And they're getting, you know, as we know, heart disease, diabetes, cancers, you know, all sorts of different crazy stuff. And then there was a similar study done in the U.S., basically the same results, and they said that it accounted for 26% of overall deaths. Uh, they didn't even talk about the disability, which is, you can add a, another large number onto that. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's just interesting because there was a journal in the, um, it's called the Journal of Nutrition. Every time I try to say that, I say it wrong. The Journal of Nutrition. Right. Okay. Uh, and it basically talks about uh, the, the foods most consistent with mortality, so living longer, obviously. Lack of mortality? Because if they're consistent with mortality, it means you're dying. All right, then lack of mortality. <laughs> I have the words backwards. Um, concluded that a high consumption of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, and later on in the article even mentioned uh, nuts. Speaking um, of which, we don't have our pecans, we don't have out, our today. pecans out today. We need to get them out. Are associated with basically a longer life, and um, consumption of red meat and processed meats is, is associated with a shorter lifespan. Mm -hmm. Um, is that what you have found? Yeah. yeah so basically what he found was that eating plant-based can um, help you live longer. Mm -hmm. I read an article about telomeres. Now, if you don't know what telomeres are, they're the, um, think of them about like the plastic wrap that's on a shoelace that holds the shoelace from unraveling. Telomeres are on the end of your DNA and they keep your DNA from unraveling. But as we age, our telomeres, every time your DNA replicates, your telomere gets shorter. And that's what causes aging. That's what they believe is, is responsible for our bodies, you know, aging and just wearing out in general. And they, it has always been thought that telomeres were just kind of something that sloughed off. And once the, you lost them, they were gone. There was nothing you could do about it. And there have been lots of studies that have shown that eating plant-based and reducing the amount of animal products that you eat slows that sloughing so it can keep you from aging as quickly. But I read a study recently that found that Modifica modification of your lifestyle, which means you know adding exercise, eating a better diet. And when we talk about better diet, we're obviously talking about taking in nutrition through whole plants. Can lengthen telomeres. And they found that it could lengthen telomeres by 29% in just 90 days. Wow. Which that's shocking to me. Now, it, what it didn't do is continue to measure it. So does it actually, and so that's considered reverse aging. If your telomeres are getting longer, it's considered reverse aging. But what they didn't do, which I, I would love to see, is if you continue to eat plant-based past 90 days, do your telomeres continue to lengthen, or is that 29% kind of the hard cutoff, like that's as much as you get? Yeah, that's And I don't know, it didn't, they didn't tell us that. Maybe which, they just didn't study it, beyond. Well, and that's, that's, telomeres aren't an easy thing to measure. Mm -hmm. um, it's expensive. And then you also, when you do studies like this, you have to really track what people eat because if you're going to say cause and effect that, you know, changing their lifestyle created this effect, you have to really pay attention. And, you know, people, even for us, you know, last year we were doing a really good job of making sure that we journaled what we ate every day so that those of you who are members could see what our, what we were journaling and what we were eating, what our exercise routines look like. 
And even for us to do that was it's a lot it's of work. It's, yeah, it takes a lot, a lot of work. effort. And so imagine if you're part of a study, it's so it's not your passion, it's some scientist's passion, and you have to keep track of what you eat every day. Mm -hmm. And one thing they've definitely found is that if you ask people to remember what they ate, they do very, very poorly. Like if you if I were to ask you to go back and tell me what did you eat on Sunday, tell me everything you ate on Sunday, uh, unless you did something unique or different, it would be really hard for you yeah. to remember. Yeah. So it does, they have been showing and we've seen lots of studies that show that eating this way absolutely um, prolongs life. But the fortunate thing is that it doesn't just prolong life, it pro prolongs your healthy life. Because modern medicine can keep you alive, but you end up being alive and half dead for 20 years. You know, I, I ask people that all the time when they're like, well, I, you know, I'm happy and fat and healthy, it's fine. And then I'm like, you're not healthy. You're like, you're actually, you know, if you're taking diabetes medications and, and you're, you know, dealing with heart disease and all these different things, that's not healthy. That's yeah. being kept alive by pharmaceuticals. Artificially, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so eating this way can not only um, keep you alive longer, but it keeps you healthier longer. And apparently now, based on the study about telomeres, it can actually keep you younger longer, which, hey, I'm all for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's a, and I mentioned this to you too. Is what I find is interesting. So you always, they always talk about these different regions of the world where we have the longest lived people. Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, I always knew about the Seventh day Avengers. Adventists. I can never say that. Yeah. Um, and who, who are located in California, which, by the way, are the longest lived people. Um, and they have a lot of good factors going for them. I mean, the weather's great. Right. They eat a really, really good diet. They have a good social network. So, and all of those things um, contribute yeah, to a long life. Yeah, contribute to life. life. Uh, but they're talking about people, too, that well into their hundreds are not only living, but are living a, an active, healthy life. They're well, yeah. And they're taking care of themselves. They're not, you know, in homes. They're not, you know, feeble or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's fascinating. And it, it talks about a lot of the other countries. What I'll do is... We will post this in our um, on the community com page. On the community page today, so people that are members and would like to read it. It also has all the references, so if you're interested in the science, if you want to dig into the science, yes. that's going to be there too. So Absolutely. yeah, make sure that if you're a member of rnrjourney.com, you can uh, you'll be able to see it on the community page. And if you're not a member, you should be because right. that's where we post a lot of this stuff. And I posted a new recipe yesterday. Mm -hmm. We posted a recipe for super simple Mexican, which is what I made over the weekend with beans and rice. Mm -hmm. And so um, I posted that recipe. So if you're a member, go check that out. It's um, really easy, fast, one of those meals that you can make when you forgot to plan. Right. So, so we posted good. that yesterday on the community page as well. So did you have anything else you wanted to add about that? Uh, no, just to say about uh, talking about the membership is that we will be sending out an email probably I think today. today for the um, live Q&A that's happening uh, next Tuesday It'll at 7 o'clock. have the link and all have that the link. And yeah. then for members, there also will be a page that you can go to in the navigation that will say live Q&A and you can register there as well. Um, and go and get the link and get right. signed up. That'll be on the 22nd. So right. make sure you have it on your calendar, 22nd, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing a live Q&A mm -hmm. conversation, answering questions. People email us and answering questions right. live and just whatever. As I say, so get your questions together. Um, yeah. Or you can just listen to because uh, some people do send us in questions uh, ahead of time. Um, and mostly that's what it seems to be is we're answering those questions because people seem to be a little shy. They're a little shy. Right. But um, come on, but, join but us. Yeah, feel free to throw a question out there if you're attending live, and mm -hmm. we'll be happy to answer it. And or we're... tell you have to research it. Right, so right. I don't have all the we answers don't make all up the time. We don't make up answers. <laughs> if we know the answer, we will yeah. tell you. If not, we will research it and get back to you. Yep, absolutely. And you know if you watch us regularly that we have a webinar at howtofeedahuman.com. It has a lot of great information. We encourage you to go there as well. Right. Make sure you like and share. I tell you that every day. I'm going to tell you today. Make sure you like and share. That's how we get to get to reach more people. Thank you to those of you who are sharing us in groups. I know that we've started being, um, some of our videos are being put out in other groups that we're not members of, which is phenomenal. And phenomenal. we appreciate that Absolutely. greatly. Anything else? I think that's it for today. All right. We should eat breakfast. Oh, today's not fasting day. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so with that, we will say, eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.